I am going to go over what your job is going to be today for writing. We're going to start peer conferences with our classmates tomorrow. So some of us have a few final finishing touches to make before we can do our peer conferencing tomorrow. So on the next slide over here, when you click on this link right here, it's going to bring you up to the classes opinion essays, okay? When you do that, you're gonna wanna find your number group and then click on your number, okay? A couple things you have to look at when you open up your opinion writing. So I copy and pasted from your table last week that you worked on, your final copy. So that's what is in your file. So a couple things I want you to look at when you get your file opened up. So we're gonna look at one at my example so I can explain some things for you guys. So. A couple different things okay if when you look at your page if you have a table that's up on your document it means you're not quite finished with your essay so if you have the introduction box that's blank you need to think of an introduction okay if you have reasons reason boxes that are blank think up reasons to support your opinion that you're thinking of if your conclusion box is blank think of how you want to conclude or finalize and kind of close up your essay. Remember, your introduction and your conclusion should both clearly state your opinion. So your reader knows exactly what your opinion is. And remember, we talked about opinion. Your opinion sentence should either have a best or should. Okay, remember, you're trying to talk someone into doing something, and that's when you would use should or you want um, something like best, or awesome, or the greatest, or really good, okay? Because you're trying to convince somebody that something is the best, or great, or awesome, okay? So if your box looks like this, you need to, or if your document, I'm sorry, looks like this, you need to add in for those boxes that are missing, okay? Add in for those boxes that are missing so they're complete and finalized, all right? If your essay looks like this. That means last week, sorry, let's put it all down on one page. Sorry if I'm confusing you here. If your essay looks like this, that means last week you finished up all your boxes and then you typed your essay down below. Okay, so if your document looks like this, a couple of things. I want you to highlight, you can highlight your document one of two ways, okay? You can click and then drag and the whole thing highlights blue, or you can simply click Control A and the whole thing will highlight for you, okay? So you wanna highlight your essay and I want you to change the font. Let's go 14, okay? Change the font to 14, just a little bit bigger for our peers when they're reading through it tomorrow, okay? A little bit bigger. Then I would like you to put a space in between if you do not yet, Put a space in between your paragraphs. So when your partner, when your classmate is reading your essay, they clearly see, okay, this first paragraph I know is the introduction. This next, next paragraph is gonna be a reason. The next one's another reason. The next one's another reason. And then a conclusion, okay? So I want you to copy, or I'm sorry, um, highlight the whole document, control A. Then I want you to make your font to be 14 and then separate into paragraphs if you don't have those paragraphs yet, okay? After you've done this then, I want you to read through your essay and ask yourself these questions. Is it clear what this author's opinion is? You're the author, so hopefully the opinion is really clear for you. Then you wanna ask yourself, are there convincing reasons that support the opinion? These reasons on your document are your reasons, but think if I was someone else reading this, would these reasons be enough to persuade me or make me kind of change my mind, okay? Next one, does this essay make sense? And the next one, if it doesn't, where am I confused? And if there's parts where you're confused, go back through and try to explain those or make those more clear. Because if you're the author and you're confused, Guess what? Your reader is probably going to be confused as well if they, when they read it. So today you're getting your essay ready for peer editing. Okay, so you want it to look like this when you're finished. 
So in your document, you want it to look like this when you're all completely finished. Okay, so 14 font and then spaces in between those paragraphs. If you're one that had to fill your boxes in from last week still, then down below your boxes right down here, I want you to put it into format like this, an essay format with paragraphs. So you're not going to type in the table anymore. You're going to type down below on the document, okay? And this will be helpful for your partner tomorrow who's reading your essay. All right, um, good luck today getting your essays all ready for your peer edit tomorrow, okay? Do not rush through your work today, okay? Read through your essay. Remember, don't assume or think that it's perfect right away. It can always be made better. There can always be changes that we can make, okay? So when you read through it, take this seriously, okay? If you have things that are not clear or you are confused when you read them, change them, okay? If you have spell check um, words underlined, click on them and see what words they're suggesting it to be, okay? Do not, um, do not think that today you get kind of to slack off and not have as much work to do, okay? Read through it carefully. Make some changes so your partner tomorrow is really, really impressed with your opinion essay and you maybe persuade them or change their mind about something.